Hey, who? Greetings, everybody. Greetings. Imana. I will hear that call on them, mother, but soon I water. People that have calling. People that have calling, especially women. Not just women, even men. You leave your calling and you jump into marriage. You leave your calling. You rush to maybe marriage is what is so important to you. They are going to take it away from you. Or they won't give you the peace you deserve in that marriage. Or you are a healer and you're not healing. That healing energy is going to turn to sickness in your body. And no medication will work on it. One of my friends permitted me to share this with her. I'm sharing it with you people. You that have calling. She came to me. I met her last year. We've not seen in person. I mentored her for a year plus. I think June, sometime in June last year or. And I say, I say, they told her that she has to do her work. And she has to do this one. She has to do that one. But I checked. All she needed was guidance to actually bring out what is already embedded in her. She didn't need anybody to or anything. She made this mistake of offending her water people with going to places of people she's greater than. And they all come on. I say, water person, you go to meet someone that is you are higher than to do work for you. You will have issues. Issues that you will have, you go think saying are from village, then they follow you. Issues that you will have. Eternal from village. This person I'm talking about, this queen I'm talking about, she has done so many work before she came to me. She has done so many work. She has 14 years plus of migraines, constant headache. When I started guiding, after we doing her water work and other works that accompany it and some other few other that we do from time to time. I started guiding her. She was on my mentorship program. She would tell me that they said she's going to die. She would tell you, nah. focus on growth. They are not dying. This person called her and said she has to do her work. I said, nah. your agu is inside of you. We just need to continue grooming and until you become one. It's not something that happens, boom, like magic. No, you put in work. That's why when you come to me to tell me that my gift is free, I tell you to go and collect your own. Jack, and I thank you, get and care free. Since you know where to collect gifts for free, go and collect your own. This, she was always going through pains. At a point, I told her, drop your medications. Because the medications were not helping. The medications were not helping. Drop your medications. She would drop, she would snap back. We continued. Until finally, she got the... What, what do I call it? Conviction to drop it by herself. For over how many months now? The headache, where is it? It disappeared. 14 years. Well, let me play her voice notes. Because I had to ask her, nah, should I play your voice note for people to hear? She said, she gave me the permission. That's why I'm playing her voice note in this video. To encourage you out there that has a call to follow things naturally, slowly. Don't go and start eating nonsense so you can start seeing what you don't know. Or is general a general lawyer? Don't go and start making mistake. Jiri wanyo. Take it easy. In a jalo we mali fe na alo. Izu cha wa jo gine ba we don't even know what ago is. Mana jo ge alu go ma go e go ma go ni. Okay so room gwa de ma miri. O ko ngwere, o ka kwa ko oke. Ko 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 ka wa ko ngwere. You go scratch the rat, you no go scratch scratch the lizard. When a lizard, when it, when a rat decides to play inside the water, with the Kaifana beer. With the lizard. If the lizard gets dry, the rat cannot get dry and it is going to itch. And it's not going to be nice. I'll play her voice note so you can hear from the horse's mouth. So that we can be very careful. My queen, good evening. Blessings. How are you? I hope you're doing well. It's been a while. I've not spoken for a very long time. I put this on fast forward so it will be fast. Yeah, I'm still in my journey pushing, things of unfolding. Yes, going through the process. Yeah, so that's why I've been quiet. And uh, yeah, just so I don't know the word overwhelm if it's the right word to use. <laughs> but one of the things that 
I am still like this or amazed about or this. Let me say this because not amazed. This is the fact that <laughs> 14 years and five months of sickness just disappeared. I'm telling you, my queen, since May, months. since May till now, since that May, May that I almost died and I left the house. To this very moment, I have not taken pain medications. I have not taken fever medication. Funny thing, she was in husband's house because she was not doing her work. Husband was fighting against the work. I said, no, be me, go tell her to leave that house. If you people want her to leave, go and tell her by yourself. You get the kind of message where I know they like the liver. That is why when you come to me, I tell you, sir, I know they give marriage advice. Because <laughs> I think give you advice, you know, go take her. I tell women, before you go into marriage, make sure you know yourself. Make sure you know yourself. And the man you're marrying, understand who you are and your assignments. That way it is easier. But you marry somebody tomorrow, tomorrow you want to do your work and they're like, oh, you cannot do this in my house, you cannot do this in my house, you cannot do that in my house. Blah, blah, blah. Look at. They give her day to, they give her days to leave that house before, was it 25th, to lift or she would die. She had to. And the moment she left. <laughs> hey, you know, when you tell this kind of stories, it's as if you're just making things up. Manoyo Mera Amarala. Oh, you will marry a Person, where it happens to don't know. Even when I overwork myself, my body will be tired. I have not taken any medication. My spirit will say, don't take anything, and I will be fine. I don't know. I'm dazed. Like, I'm so dazed. So Until you experience it, you will not believe it. When somebody else is telling you about it, when they are in that situation, they will, uh, uh, when you are in that situation, you will never believe what they are saying. Just like you were telling me that time. I say no medication. Like, the kind of work that I usually would do, I'll fall sick for like another one week, two weeks. Now I do the work without sickness. No headache, no sugar pain, nothing. I have never seen anything like this in my life. I'm still dazed. I don't know. That's why I just went into a quiet mood because I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to... You cannot understand it. I don't know. I'm just trying to understand life in a different perspective. I'm trying to understand life in another way. I'm, I'm just trying to see that all the years that I've lived my life, I do not even know life or understand life. It is not that I began to live, to understand life. And this truth that I've discovered, this truth that I've known about me, my truth, that is one thing no one can take away from me. I don't care who the person is. It's my truth. I, I will not blame them if they don't understand it or know it because it is my I'm own truth. Still. I'm still dead, my queen. Obagojurumaya. You know, when you tell people stories like this, they feel like you're just talking. You don't know what you're talking about. You're making until you see people that have real life experiences, you will know that. <laughs> The spirits are not playing with you. When I tell people my story, they feel like, oh, I'm just talking. Except people that have had that kind of experience. It's just like a woman in labor. She's explaining her pain. You can never really understand it until maybe you're in that labor room yourself or you're in labor yourself. Otherwise, you, you, you might never be able to comprehend the whole process or whatever it is she went through. I'm cutting the voice note because I still understand that you don't listen to long voice notes. <laughs> but I just have to talk. You see, I've not spoken since so. <laughs> she knows me very well. People that know me, that have encountered me in boss who know that I don't like long voice notes. They think this person paid for mentorship. It's not just a, make it brief so I can be able to listen. There are plenty of voice notes I play in a day. That's why I keep begging, make it brief. Imagine if I'm your sister and I come to this inbox. I will listen to 10 minutes. Another inbox, 20 minutes. Ah! Pity me. I will just die. Pity me. It's no pride. It's just for me to save my energy so that when I need to go reach everybody. That is just it. Biko. Hmm? She understands that. She's a queen and more. My queen in whom I'm well pleased. So that's it, my queen. Just let me share with you. I think at the moment I'm just the most happiest person. Not because I have money. Money, I don't have money. Money has not started coming. But I know money will come one day. For my what I have now is something that's see. like a treasure. I can't let go. I can't let, let anything interfere or come between me, me and me. Because this time around is me and me. I'm Who embracing myself see. with all seriousness. Uh, I'm very fierce when it comes to myself, my understanding. The place where I am now. I'm very, very... I don't know how to say it. I do not take shit. Yes. If you want to reject, go ahead. If you don't like it, go ahead. 
I have decided to allow my everyone gets to this point. You're on this spiritual journey and you're still like, oh, my parents will disown me. Oh, my husband will. Oh, you're not serious yet. When shit hits the fan, and you go disown yourself by yourself. When shit hits the fan, is wake You will disown. You will disown them by yourself. Because at that point, it's either your life or them. You choose. Because this is what you chose before coming into this place. Now you sign the contracts. Now you got to fulfill that part of the contract that you signed. Okay, Messiah. I just thought I should share this with you. You that have a call. Somebody is telling you there's a way you can hold back. It's a lie, you. You're putting your life in danger. Oh, there's a way you can hold it. There's a way you can divert it. There's a way you can tie it. There's a way you can tell them to wait. It's a lie, you. The more you delay your process, the more you delay, the more you get into trouble. The more you get into trouble. The person that is telling you, that, do you know what that is changing it for? Do you know the agreements? Nothing is free. Yes, maybe, do you know whether they agreed, okay, since you are not doing the call, okay, let this person just have money, but okay, maybe just 10 years, they will just live for 10 years, after 10 years, they will die. Do you know the clause that is tied to that work they are doing for you, telling you that eh, when you do it, eh, the spirits will leave you alone, and eh, you don't go do the work, eh, this, this, and that, is a lie, yo. so you will know. Have a wonderful evening. I just have to share this with you, and that I've done. Call I'll be back.